Energeo 2013 took a look at the big picture of the geospatial community. From GIS to surveying, from unmanned aircraft systems to total stations, from mighty manufacturers to smart startups, Energeo offered a glimpse at the innovations of today and the promise of tomorrow. The conference also took a look at the trends that loom large for the geospatial community. From managing the energy revolution, an area of particular concern in Germany, to the role standards will play in helping or hindering innovation. Whatever the standards, technology continues to improve. Some attendees marveled at the number of UAVs on display at Energeo. Companies such as SenseFly, Trimble, and many more are taking flight with unmanned aircraft. Total stations remained a big deal. Leica showcased its Nova MS-50 multi-station, which the company had unveiled at the Hexagon Conference in June. Trimble had no fewer than seven new product releases, including the Trimble V10 Imaging Rover, an integrated camera system that captures 360-degree digital panoramic images for visual documentation and measurement. Similarly, Topcon unveiled several new products. The company's new hybrid positioning technology allows surveying and geospatial professionals to simultaneously connect to GNSS signals and standard robotic measurements on a single rover pole. Hemisphere displayed its latest rugged handheld devices. Among these are GeoMapper 300 and GeoMapper 500 that include New Eclipse OEM modules. Laser scanners also feature prominently at Energeo. Faro took the wraps off its Focus 3DX 330 and Pentax displayed its S3180V. In all, more than 500 companies showed off their products to approximately 16,000 people over the three days at Energeo. Many of the products are capturing data more quickly, accurately, and efficiently. The important part is taking the data and making the most of it. As Eric Arvison, the Vice President of Trimble's Geospatial Division said, the process is being transformed. It's not just about what is that position or what is that data, but how do we move from that data ultimately to the decision.